Today we continue hearing Jesus' parables from Matthew chapter 13. Jesus uses imagery familiar to his audience. Today's three parables are about gardening and baking. A gardener finds weeds among his crop and suspects the work of an enemy. He decides not to destroy his whole garden, but wait until harvest to sort things out. A tiny mustard seed grows to become a great sheltering tree. And a woman makes bread and uses just a little yeast to make the dough rise. For gardeners and bakers in the congregation today, proclaiming and understanding this gospel is familiar as it was for Jesus' original audience. But what if you don't have a green thumb or can't find your way around the kitchen? I once used these three parables to challenge my parishioners to imagine what Jesus might say if he were preaching in person to them in our time. Looking around at the congregation, considering the parish's problems and the struggles of Christians to witness in a largely secular world, Jesus might teach us about a baseball manager who keeps starting a young player who's in a slump, waiting patiently until he starts hitting. A patient God works with our sinfulness, with the messiness of our world. God doesn't want to shut sinners out, but invites them to grow and repent, like the farmer tolerating the weeds until harvest time. And so the kingdom is powerful, effective, that just a small beginning may have great overwhelming results, like the mustard seed or the leaven, or perhaps like parents bringing an infant to church for baptism. The baby is tiny but has great potential waiting to grow. Jesus' imagery may spark other comparisons for you. His message for us is that no matter what obstacles it faces, no matter how small the efforts of Christians seem, the kingdom of heaven will flourish.